Young Justice is back next week with the explosive second half of an already epic season. To celebrate, we binged the first 13 episodes again and picked out our top 10 moments from Young Justice Outsiders so far. Number 10. Our number 10 may be a little self-indulgent, but we loved hearing our very own Whitney Moore as the voice of Courtney Whitmore on her talk show, Stargirl. Race for light speed, people. I'm your very own Stargirl, Courtney Whitmore. And today, we are rocketing across the galaxy for another Good World Studios exclusive interview. Oh, and by the way, if Courtney ever needs a co-host, I'd be happy to be the voice of Booster Gold. Have your people call my people. <laughs> okay. Next up, an emergency meeting of the Justice League takes a shocking turn when Batman argues that the team has lost its value in serving the people of Earth. Then he drops the bat mic. I'm sorry, but I hereby tender my resignation to the Justice League. Later, Batman's secret agenda comes to light, but watching him bail on the Justice League was a jaw dropper. Number eight is one of those fight scenes that's made Young Justice a massive hit with the DC fandom. Batman's team takes on Bane, Lady Shiva, and Deathstroke in a battle that'll make your heart race. The momentum swings wildly back and forth as the characters show what they do best. Yet again, Young Justice gives us a matchup we didn't know we needed. Our number seven is Cyborg's Young Justice debut. His origin is largely familiar to diehard fans, with much of his body being destroyed in an explosion at Star Labs. But in Young Justice, his father saves him by using a father box rather than a mother box. Connecting Victor to a father box gives him a dangerous dark side and makes the Young Justice version of Cyborg fresh, compelling, and uniquely complicated. Next, after a bruising brawl between the team and the League of Shadows, a pair of DC icons are hinted to be within the ranks of Ra's al Ghul's Band of Assassins. Gray, son. Oh, your memory is finally returning. Excellent. Having Jason Todd and Damian Wayne potentially in the mix means there's plenty of juicy Young Justice drama to come. Number five sees Dick Grayson and Will Harper working what they thought would be an easy security job, but they end up fighting Brick on top of a semi-truck speeding down the Pacific Coast Highway, and they use whatever they can grab as a weapon before ultimately getting the upper hand. Put me down! Uh, the guy makes a reasonable request. Plus, he's really heavy. Oh man, this ain't right. Well, be careful what you wish for, Brick. The end of the first half of the season sees the team rescue Geoforce's sister, Terra, from metahuman traffickers. They welcome her into the fold, but we quickly learn that her allegiance lies elsewhere. Hardcore fans know that it's unwise to trust Terra, and her loyalty to Deathstroke sets up a mouth-watering second half of season three. Next up, Ocean Master is on a mission to execute the Light's so-called nuclear option, which involves murdering the innocent children of superheroes. But Lady Shiva shows up to put a stop to his reckless behavior. I am 
Orm, the Ocean Master, a prince of Atlantis. Prince, I should be king. Instead, I spent six years inside an Atlantean prison. Six years! I will not be denied my revenge. That's what the light assumed. That's why I'm here. See, this is why you've got to be careful with who has access to the nuclear codes. Come on, people. Number two exposes the history of Vandal Savage like we've never seen on Young Justice. Most notably, we learn that Savage formed his alliance with Darkseid after impressing the Lord of Apocalypse in battle. Eyes opened by his opponent's power and the fact of his existence, Vandal seized the moment and made a proposition. Together, Savage and Darkseid would conquer the galaxy. Intrigued by this brazen human and the gifted armies he might raise, Darkseid agreed. Both men knowing that when the galaxy fell, Earth and Apocalypse would wage a final battle. Winner take all. Knowing Vandal Savage's past sheds light on what the future holds, and without a doubt, it's gonna be a bumpy ride. And finally, our number one moment from the first half of Young Justice Season 3 is Beast Boy's Doom Patrol Go! Delusion from Nightmare Monkeys. The level of meta-ness in this episode was an absolute delight, and you can be sure that the second half of Young Justice Outsiders will deliver this kind of fun and more. You can catch all new episodes starting Tuesday, July 2nd, only on DC Universe. We did it, Skeets, let's go. See, that's a pretty good booster, I'm just saying.